Hi Daryl, what are we looking at here? Well William, this is our second flowering room here at Indigo, and in this room we do some trial testing of not only our light, but competing technologies such as plasma, LED, ceramic metal halide. What's nice about this particular garden is it's a 3x6 ebb and flow tray, and we always keep the plants equal on each side of the barrier. So on the left side of this current grow, we have a 420, which is a propagation through flower lamp. The spectrum will allow you to go all the way from veg through flower. And the plants on both sides are equal. They're in this particular garden, Big Beef, Solar Fire, and Bradley's. We use arrow pots. And on the uh, left pontoon, I would ask you to look at the left side of this uh, garden. We're at day 70. We're seeing a nice fruit development. We have roughly 40 tomatoes that have come up on this. Some of them are in their infancy. Some of them are further advanced. You'll see some slightly maturing tomatoes on the bottom there. This room is also a live stream garden that we do. And the reason we do that is we're comparing what happens when we add an accessory like these pontoons. And the pontoons are a accessory to the 420 that allows it to just lay over the 420. When there's lights on, the pontoon will run 660 nanometer diodes. There's 10 on each side. And they are asymmetrically opposed, which means they lay against each other and interlace. 10 degree angles on one side and the other allow that interlacing to get wonderful canopy penetration. And if your camera is picking this up, look to the left and look to the right. Look at the trellis alone. The weight on the pontoon side is dramatically heavier. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. Our tomato production on the left side is roughly 40 tomatoes, and our tomato production on the right side is approximately 80. As you look underneath, you can see clusters of tomatoes very tightly packed. And a lot of that is due to because at flower, our 60s are coming in with just a 10 degree angle and the intensities that they have, not only catching the canopy quite nicely, but getting underneath it. And walking around here, you'll see under canopy development that we normally don't get. So the accessory on these pontoons comes to 40 watts. Add that to the 420, we're at 460 watts total connected load. No additional wiring is necessary. The other thing that we wanted to achieve with pontoons was a way of introducing the phytochrome switch. Much like in nature, when the sun goes down, you'll have uh, less UV, less blue, and you'll get these deep reds. So the plants relax and they start to flower faster. Well, in an indoor garden, it's all lights on, all lights off. So the plants will require two hours to relax and reach its phytochrome state and start a uh, flowering period. However, if you took, and notice on our panel here, our pontoons, there are some diodes that are off. Those happen to be 730 nanometer diodes. And what I'm gonna do is create lights off here, and you'll see everything go off with the exception of the 730s. Now 730 nanometers is hard for the eye to see. I imagine your camera's seeing it okay, and we'll adjust. But what we're getting under here is a very even canopy coverage of that 730 nanometer phytochrome switch. That's the wavelengths that relaxes the plants. And just like our 660s, we've interlaced them so that we can cover a wider area and achieve that in just five minutes using lithium ion batteries. So you don't require any additional timers, you don't require any additional wiring. You just let the power go off, and these will run for five minutes and they're time to go off. But this is more or less creating what nature intends with sunset. And I'm down at the lower part of these plants and still uh, picking up this red coloring. Yeah, this is called deep, Very good. deep red. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights back on. The 730s have dropped off, the 660s are back on, and you just let this accessory do its job. Do you have to have the accessory pontoon? No. There's a lot of people that are very happy with just what the 420 can do. But as broad spectrum does or goes, this is an excellent uh, addition to your garden if you want to increase yield and quality. So, And what's the average increase as far as yields go? Or 
Well, this is a I, first I, trial I, run? It, well, this is a product that we've already seen at least a 40% development in, in fruit size and a doubling in quantity. Uh, the weight, as you can see, is obvious between the two sides, and the area of coverage gets larger because we're now able to take final flower from what was normally a 12-inch separation from lamp to canopy to 18 inches. And the reason for that is we have the intensities and the areas of coverage with the pontoons that we don't have without them. And the idea of installing three LEDs on the outside edge as opposed to five LEDs on the inside edge is these LEDs will actually work with the adjacent fixture. So the adjacent fixtures LEDs coming down this way and this fixture is coming down this way means that we've expanded that coverage with multiple fixtures and your flowering areas are truly enhanced and it will increase your your overall weights. And in reality you're getting more than a double crossover as far as the light goes, especially Remember, if you put a second. The second and third, if you have a number of fixtures at 48 inch on center from propagation all the way through final flower and you're interlacing the 660s at uh, your flowering stages, yes, you're going to get more weight, you're going to get a larger area of coverage and the heat production under all this is negligible. I mean we're one-third that of an HID as a broad spectrum goes, there's no relamping. All you're doing is assisting 660 and, and phytochrome. Uh, it's kind of unique. I've not seen anything like it, and I think the results speak for themselves. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up. Visit our website. This is a live streaming garden, and uh, we look forward to any inquiries. And how can they find the live stream? Well, we're at indigrow.com, and this is on our homepage. So do check it out. We keep it live every 30 seconds with an update, and the high-res galleries are in there, too. So thank you very much for stopping by. Hope to hear from you.